We've already seen strikes by junior doctors in this dispute, but so far emergency care hasn't been affected. Now the British Medical Association has announced that in strikes next month, doctors will refuse to provide emergency cover for the first time. In a statement they said, no junior doctor wants to take this action, but the government has left us with no choice. In refusing to listen to junior doctors' outstanding concerns, the government will bear direct responsibility for the first full walkout of doctors in this country. All junior doctors are really, really sorry it's come to this. None of us wanted this, but I don't think there's any solution going forward until we do something that makes the government sit up and, 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 and listen, and this is the only thing that's going to do that. So far, junior doctors have gone on strike three times and more than 19,000 operations have been cancelled. They're due to walk out next on the 6th of April for 48 hours. An emergency cover will be provided. But later in the month, on the 26th and 27th of April, they'll strike between 8am and 5pm. And this time, there'll be no emergency cover. What happens if something happened to your child? Some accident happened on the street. What's going to happen to them? Who's going to look after them? You see what I mean? That we're not support, we don't support them at all. I do support them and I hope that you know, the government makes some changes to their decisions at the minute. Because they should get paid more, they should get more benefits. People should listen to what they need to say, because otherwise there'll be no doctors. So far, public support for the strikes has been strong. But as the fight against government plans to impose a new contract becomes increasingly bitter, junior doctors will be hoping that continues. Leila Hayes, 5 News.